Tonight, I want to talk with you about this tragedy, the broader threat of terrorism, and how we can keep our country safe. The FBI is still gathering the facts about what happened in San Bernardino, but here's what we know. The victims were brutally murdered and injured by one of their co-workers and his wife. So far, we have no evidence that the killers were directed by a terrorist organization overseas or that they were part of a broader conspiracy here at home. Our nation has been at war with terrorists since Al-Qaeda killed nearly 3,000 Americans on 9-11. In the process, we've hardened our defenses, from airports to financial centers to other critical infrastructure. Intelligence and law enforcement agencies have disrupted countless plots here and overseas and worked around the clock to keep us safe. Our military and counterterrorism professionals have relentlessly pursued terrorist networks overseas disrupting safe havens in several different countries, killing Osama bin Laden, and decimating al-Qaeda's leadership. For seven years, I have confronted this evolving threat each and every morning in my intelligence briefing. And since the day I took this office, I have authorized U.S. forces to take out terrorists abroad precisely because I know how real the danger is. The threat from terrorism is real, but we will overcome it. We will destroy ISIL and any other organization that tries to harm us. Our success won't depend on tough talk or abandoning our values or giving in to fear. That's what groups like ISIL are hoping for. Instead, we will prevail by being strong and smart, resilient and relentless, and by drawing upon every aspect of American power. Hillary Clinton has described already the meeting in the White House over two years ago. Everyone in the national security team recommended uh, arming ISIS. Everyone in the national security team recommended uh, arming ISIS. Everyone in the national security team recommended uh, arming ISIS. Recommended uh, arming ISIS. Arming ISIS. Arming ISIS.